for you. We're going to have the mayor and other representatives from the government here, but we don't want to hold us up from getting started with our workshops. If you look around the room, we have representatives here from Advocates for Justice and Education, the D.C. Department of Employment Services, D.C. Works, and the National Campaign to Prevent Teen and Unplanned Pregnancy. So please feel free to go and start with any of these workshops. They have wonderful information to help you going forward to support your families. And when we get, when the mayor gets here, we're going to stop uh, to hear some very brief remarks and then continue with our workshops. So we're going to run the, uh, the luncheon, the moon bounce, the face painting, and the uh, workshops concurrently. So please enjoy the afternoon. We're going to start the workshops now, and we'll, we'll take a brief break when the mayor gets here. Thank you. And please come into the tent. We have a brief program. Family Services. She's going to give 
brief remarks here, and this is a true collaboration between the Family Court and Child and Family Services. Because CFSA reached out to you, they connected with you, they brought you back here, and not to be indelicate, but they paid for the sandwiches and the moon bounce. <laughs> so this is just terrific. And we also have a representative here from Council Member Graham, his legislative council. Ms. Flagle is also going to give brief remarks. So without further ado, we're going to have the mayor come forward. Thank you so much. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I am delighted to be here with Judge Bush. He does such a great job uh, every day uh, as, as uh, a judge and our security force paying attention to our families. How about a big hand for Judge Joe Bush? And I'm also delighted to work with this lady to my right. Uh, Brenda Donald uh, is really just a fantastic uh, professional. Uh, we knew that we wanted to pay a lot of attention to helping to work with our families in the city. And when I came into office, because I've known Brenda for a long time, and I said, boy, wouldn't it be great if we could get Brenda to come back and work with us here in the District of Columbia? And I said, no, nah, she'll never do it. The other folks said, no, she'll never do it. She's doing great. She's going on to the Casey Foundation now. And you know, you just never give up. Just like families should never give up, right? And so we never gave up. And there came a point when she said, you know what? I think I would like to come back home. Uh, in fact, didn't you grow up in this area? Yeah. So she really is literally back home here, having gone to Blue High School at one point. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So she is back and she is doing uh, the work that is so important to our, our city and that is trying to help keep our families together and bring our families back together again. You know, we use a lot of statistics in this city, but the one that I like to use now is that just a few years ago, we had 3,300 children in foster care. Today, that number is down to 1,700 children in foster care. And of course, she knows the exact number, right? She said, not 1,700, Mayor, 1,688. They broke 1,700. And you know what? Those are the things that make a city strong. And that is trying to keep families together in the first place and working to bring families back together again. Sometimes things happen in families, but we should never, ever give up on our families and our children. There is nothing that's more important than being able to bring them back together again. I was at an event um, last Saturday night put on by the uh, COG and the Freddie Mac Foundation about Wednesday's Child and honoring foster parents and what a great job foster parents do. And they are the bridge. They are the bridge from where children are to where we want children to be. And that is back with their mothers, back with their fathers, back with their natural families. Isn't there a doubt that we do this, ladies and gentlemen? And so, I'm not going to make an hour-long speech today, because nobody wants to hear one. <laughs> but I did want to be here to say thank you to all of the families who now have worked hard to bring your children home. I once said, and people looked at me like I was nuts, and maybe I am, that's a possibility, but I once said in a speech, this is about 15 years ago, that the goal ought to be to eliminate foster care. Why? Because every child will have a place to be with their natural family or their adoptive family. And frankly, if we can cut foster care in half, as has been done over the last several years, can we get it down to zero so that all families will have their children at home? And we're going to do everything we can to make that happen. Whatever supports we can provide that makes sense to families, we're going to do that to make that happen. And families, now that you have your children back, hang on to them. Keep them. Keep them right there with you. Now please join me in welcoming the outstanding director of our Child and Family Services Agency here in the District of Columbia, a dear friend and someone of whom I am very proud, Brenda Donald. Thank you. Thank you. This is the main reason I came back. 
because I knew to do this job, I had to have a boss who would support me and who would get it and who had the right values. And he picked an outstanding deputy mayor, who's really my direct boss, B.B. Otero, who many, many of you know. This really is, though, all about the families, and I can't add another thing to what the mayor said about why you're here today. I applaud Judge Bush and her leadership. Judge Puig Lugo is here as well as the deputy presiding judge. And then I have to give a shout out to all of our CFSA staff. We've got so many people, Deborah Porsche Usher, here's the principal deputy, David Campbell, Michelle Park. I'll mess everybody, but I tell you what, they are here and they so believe in the same values and principles that the mayor has espoused. That makes my job easier because I was at an event yesterday when a woman gave a really poignant story about her life and working with the collaboratives and how she almost lost her kids when she lost her home. And she said that people had told her, don't reach out to social workers because they will take your kids. And we were like, we don't want to do that. We want to build that support system around the kids and around the family. And I do believe we can get down to a really, really tiny, tiny number of kids in foster care. We say foster care is a temporary safe haven, short time, just to keep kids and families safe. We're here, we're committed to supporting you, to continue to support you. And as the mayor said, now that you got your kids, love them to, no, not to them. Love Thank you for being here, and I urge you to work to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Take care. 